Yo, what's good, people? Izzy Max here, back again with Ryan for another NBC match. What's up? Uh, not too much. Uh, this week we are going up against Team Pussy. Uh, they have a very strong team and are currently, I think, undefeated. Yeah, I think they're number one or two in the league right now, which, you know, really good after being 0-2. Yeah. Good we, on the uh, nerves. We are <laughs> not in a great position, but we are feeling decently confident. Uh, we did put a lot of work in prep-wise this week. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my side. First up, we are bringing our new acquisition, the Needle Queen. This is taking place of the uh, Zygarde, the Zydog. Uh, this is a Sheer Force Life Orb set with a decent amount of speed, Thunder Punch, High Horsepower, Poison Jab, and Substitute. Uh, next up is the Togetic, full, uh, fully defensive with Follow Me, Helping Hand, Tailwind, and Draining Kiss, of course, with the Eviolite. Uh, next up is Lipar. This is another new acquisition uh, in place of the Obstagoon. Uh, this is rocking Thunder Wave Charm, Fake Out, and Fake Tears. Prankster with the Mental Herb. And then uh, lastly, we are bringing Choice Scarf Blast Toys again with Water Spout, Scald, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. This thing just hits a lot of good calcs. Uh, and a, yeah. lot of, a lot of their mods do not want to take a Scarf uh, Water Spout. So... Yeah, their big offensive threats to our team are the Diggersby and Cinderace. Uh, initially, we were running a Scarf Eruption Heatran mm. uh, with more of a setup Blastoise. Uh, but we in practice games, that was not working very well. Right. Uh, so we kind of pivoted to... He suggested, hey, let's run Scarf uh, Blastoise. And I was very skeptical, but the calcs did not lie. Uh, it can pretty cleanly one-hit KO. Dynamax, uh, Cinderace with the Spout, and it can uh, also Diggersby. do the same to the Diggersby. Um, which, which are the two problem really mons for us. Yeah. Which are kind of our big problem mons. Um, so yeah, that, that's a pretty key that's a pretty key piece this week. Yeah. Also, sorry y'all for me sounding like super raspy. I don't have the plague. I just have a huge head cold. Uh, weather yeah. in Missouri has been very bipolar uh, the past couple it weeks. It's been bad. Uh, so, okay, Ryan, I'm on your screen now. Tell me what you're, we're bringing on your side. And why okay. the hell is Ghastly here? <laughs> so Ghastly... So we weren't going to bring Ghastly this week. Um, and then we did a bunch of practice games and kept losing. So I came up with this Ghastly set and we started winning the practice games. So <laughs> this is a Focus Sash Ghastly. Um, the set is Shadow Ball, Icy Wind, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball. Um, so the big thing here is that this Ghastly is kind of a unit. Um, so the Shadow Ball, if they go for a Trick Room mode, because um, we're going to lead Ghastly Blastoise like 99% of the time. Mm -hmm. um, if they go for their Trick Room Hatterini mode, uh, Shadow Ball um, does enough that Water Spout will then KO in the follow-up. Also just fantastic neutral damage across the board. Yep. Um, Icy Wind's really good here. Uh, they outspeed most of our team. So being able to Icy Wind spam is really nice. Uh, that came up a lot in practice games where they max the Cinderace uh, with a Token Amaru lead. In most cases, we're clicking Icy Wind turn one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thunderbolt is for Mantine. Um, yeah. And Steel. Man we expect Mantine to come this week. Uh, yeah. They have very little reason not to bring it. It has a pretty good matchup against our team um, and can set Tailwind. Um, and is pretty solid against um, a lot of our offensive mons uh, while having a good defensive role. So we're going to be like exceedingly shocked if it doesn't hit the field. Yep. Um, so Thunderbolt is really just for that mon. It also does actually pretty solid damage to Celesteela. Uh, Energy Ball is specifically for a Diggersby lead. Um, Energy Ball can cleanly two hit KO Diggersby. Mm -hmm. Um and does crazy good damage. And actually, the reason this ended up coming on the team at first was because Diggersby has a hard time touching Ghastly. Uh, Ghastly is levitates, so it's immune to ground-type moves. Um, it's it type. is immune to normal-type moves. Mm -hmm. And very likely on a Diggersby set, you're running like a max Diggersby set, you're going to run like Protect and Body Slam. Meaning that a, very, a standard Diggersby cannot touch this set. Um, yep. They have to hit it with a coverage move. Um, to kill it with the Digger's B, which is actually kind of huge. Uh, so we're getting a lot of um, basically just decent offensive utility with some speed control out of this. Mm -hmm. um, and we're hoping it's going to work because it worked, it worked 
it worked way too well in practice for us not to bring it. Oh yeah, um, for sure. This Heatran is Eruption, Flash Cannon, Protect Heat Wave. Uh, this is kind of a similar set to one that we've brought in the past. Um, this week we're running Choppleberry, uh, mostly for Pangoro um, and Cinder, mostly Cinderace actually, mm -hmm. just to live a max fighting off Cinderace, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, Eruption does just insane damage if we can get this thing maxed, uh, and Heat Wave is good out of max. Flash Cannon's good. We didn't really need any other coverage moves on this thing, if I'm being totally honest with you. Yeah, like, this thing this thing was steel. Scarf. Yeah, this thing was Scarf for the longest time until we uh, uh -huh. finally settled on Chopple, just because it wasn't getting it wasn't getting calcs on like uh, Cinderace and Mantine. So we switched it yeah. over to a to still be offensive, but with some defensive capabilities. Right, and I mean Heatran. I mean, Steel Spike still does a lot to Cinderace and that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. it's just a good bring. Rillaboom. This is kind of an interesting Rillaboom set. We're doing uh, Grassy Seed. Yep. With Protect, Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, SD. Um, in some of those games, we were able to get a very clean SD Rillo sweep off for the end game. At plus two, Grassy Glide can KO most of their team. And with Grassy Seed, uh, a lot of their late game offense cannot threaten Rillaboom if we set it up correctly. Yep. So Didn't we um, live like the max bounce? Yeah, from you, we lived uh we live a max airstream. Uh you can also we live max uh max special attack uh Celestila, mm -hmm. air slash always. Um and we live Mantine Air Slash super fucking easy. So this was a really kind of no-brainer set, actually, and it's really strong here. Yeah. And then Reuniclus, uh, we only ever bring this if it looks like they're going for a hard trick room mode, um, which they might. Um, if we see Executor, yeah. we're going to think that's a potential option. Uh, but it's Protect uh, Flash Cannon to hit Hat, uh, Thunder thunder for the Mantine and stuff like that, and Psy Shock. Honestly, I don't anticipate bringing this thing. Oh, by the way, it's uh, Iron it Ball. <laughs> it is Iron Ball, though, um, to... Uh, under speed of uh, the Hatterini mm -hmm. and the other Trick Room Mons. So it could come. Um, there is a world where we bring it, but it is far more likely you're going to see Rillaboom Heatran Ghastly with a Ghastly lead. Yeah. Our, uh, so our game plan, let me get back to my screen. Our game plan going into this is to actually lead the Ghastly Blast Toys. Uh, if we don't see a Togedomaru, we are just launching hits. Uh, if we do see the Togedomaru, Blast Toys immediately switches out into Togetic. Um, Probably gets nuzzled, but that's fine. And then uh, we're trying to set up Tailwind. If we can get a Tailwind up with a Scarf Blastoise and an Eruption Heatran, I do believe we just win on the spot. That's kind of how it went in practice. Yeah, uh, and the Togetic takes eats hits for days. Yeah, um, yeah. It the... lives uh, Max Strikes, mm -hmm. Diggers B. It li it ate Max Hat stuff. Um, Pyro Ball is only what like sixty percent. Yep. Or something, and they're not gonna Pyro Ball the blastoise slot turn one you know no um, no 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 that's kind of crazy uh, yeah uh, that's the only kind of an insane read the only problem on we had when we got tailwind up and these two heatran and blastoise on the field was the mantine um but real boom and ghastly don't really care about it um yeah ghastly doesn't care about anything because it's just straight up dying so <laughs> yeah ghastly ghastly's main goal here really is to speed control to... yeah Speed control and good chip damage. Uh, yep. That's really what we need out of it. Um, we did have Minetric on the team at one point. We're actually still debating Minetric over Reuniclus. We, yeah, if we get in, that. yeah, if we get in game and Reuniclus is not there, this is probably why. <laughs> yeah, because I part of us thinks that the Lightning Rod's good and it's it has a good it has a good cell steel matchup. So it kind of depends on how nervous we are about that mon appearing. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like if we don't bring Reuniclus, they might, like, even if they weren't planning Trick Room, I do feel like they might go, oh, free Trick Room. So yeah. I'm a little worried about that kind of an option. Yeah, and we do have Thunder Punch on the Queen and then special uh, fire moves on the, the Heatran. So they can't really just invest specially or invest physically because both of these mods are going to chunk that thing pretty well. Yeah, Thunder Punch does, like, 75% to max HP, Celestila. Yep. So... That is going to be our plan. Um, again, feeling decently confident, but super nervous because this they, this is a really good team. Yeah, they're um, very strong. And we need a win. We really do. We're in a rough spot right now. We need a win, and we're playing the number one team this week, which is not pretty, yeah. but um, we're... <laughs> Gasly can do it. Yeah, man, Gasly. The, 
going to be the MVP of today's game, I guess. It's not. Uh, it's probably <laughs> going to be Robo Boomer Heatran as the MVP. But. Oh, for sure, for sure. But anyway, uh, we play in about 20 minutes, so uh, we'll see you guys in the game. All right, we are back. Getting ready to pick our mons, just waiting on player four. All right, here we go. Oh, shoot, we got to do this. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Sebi has Max first. We need to remember that. All right. Good luck, Ryan. Here we go. Okay. Mantine and hat. Okay. Okay, we stick with our lead. Yeah. And then Nito Queen and Togetic. Yep. Different arrangement of mods than we thought, though. Yeah, you don't think... I don't think we need Lipard, honestly. I don't either. Okay. Go, Ghastly, go. <sighs> okay. I hope it's not a Togetic blank lead, but... Okay. Oh, we need this one, Ryan. We need it, we need it, we need it. We need it. See what they lead. This lead is really what it comes down to, my man. Mm-hmm. Cinderace, is it token tomorrow? Yep. Hey! All right. Well, we know how this lead works, at least. All right. You're clicking Icy Wind, right? Yep. And I'm just switching into toga uh, Togetic. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. All right. We led Ghastly. <laughs> so for the record, uh, to people watching, this is their best lead. Uh, when we did practice rounds, this was the lead that won them games most consistently. Yeah, this is the lead we practiced the most against. Yeah, but it's also their best lead. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, 100%. They knew it. They knew it. So we are seeing... Just, just a testament to the fact that we're playing the best team. Because there were times when we had this situation and it did not play out how we wanted to. No. So hopefully hopefully we got this. Enough practice. I'm interested to see what they do. You are clicking Icy Wind, right? I already clicked it. Okay, making sure. Okay. Okay, Togetic comes in. Ooh. You turn out. Okay. Which mon? Ghastly. Okay. Ghastly lives. Okay, we know it's Life Orb Life Cinderace. Orb. Which, you know, that's kind of expected. Yeah. Well, Ghastly should outspeed here. No, Token Tomorrow is fast. Never mind. Yeah, Token Tomorrow is faster. If they actually double targeted Ghastly, I guess, good on them, I guess. But then I can throw in uh, Heatran next to your Toga deck. Yeah, if they double targeted, which is a way better positioning for us. Man, if I would have just can throw in Rillaboom if they bring out Diggersby. If I would have just launched a Water Spout, ah, uh, we'll see. Okay, they Mantine. go Mantine here. Did they Zing Zap? Okay, good. Your slot. Okay, and we live that. Good, good, good. That was a good turn one by them, though. Well, the only difference was is they zing zapped instead of nuzzled, which is what we were expecting. So, mm -hmm. do I tailwind? I think I do because I have to match theirs. Yeah, I think you tailwind. Um, do you lift the hit though from the? From you another. You barely lift the hit from the toe. Yeah, I'll live another zing zap hit. Do, do you? I, I shadow ball token tomorrow. Because it's lightning rod, I'm sure. Oh, probably. You might want to Icy Wind again, just so they don't have Tailwind priority like in the following turn. I want to get damage on this Toga tomorrow. It's kind that's of fine. a threat. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'll trust yeah. you on this one. Go, Ghastly! That's, that's good damage. Oh, and they target the Ghastly. 
Oh, good. Yeah, no, that's good. Oh they tailwind. my god. We match their tailwind. Okay, we're in we're in business, boys. Oh yes. Cause I can get it I can throw in Rillaboom and SD, can't I? Um I don't think you want to do that. Why not? Like I think you still go Rillaboom, but I don't think you SD. Because I don't think do we you take think I have horsepower. No, I think you grassy glide. The... I think you 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 follow me. I just high horsepower down the token of Mario. Oh, well, yeah. What's on that Togue slot? Diggersby and Celestila? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that is kind of ooh. Yeah, you still go Dig. I still go Rilla. Oh, yeah, you still go Rilla. I mean, shit, you might want to SD. Because you have to click follow me this turn, right? Yeah. See, I don't see the issue with SDing, because then I can one-hit KO man time. Mm -hmm. And then you live... Yeah. You live the one. Yeah, yeah, no, you SD here. Okay. And then hell, I can even go queen. Oh, you could, you could... Dude, switching a Nido Queen right here might be huge. No, we. I kind of want Togetic to go down. Yeah, I do too. Sorry, you clicking follow me. Mm hmm Because even if they bring out the Celesteela, like, we can kind of ignore that slot for a little bit and just take out... Like, we can kill that entire other side. You know? Well, if Togedemaru switches out, I just Thunder Punch the Celesteela. Yeah. This was not a positioning we had in the practice games, but I gotta say, it's oh, okay. Oh, straight up switch. Oh, so we live this. Yo, I will take this every day of the week. Yeah, this is not a bad place to be in at all. Because now you one-shot everything on that other side. Yeah, I just click, I just spam Grassy Glide. And I live that. That's crazy. All right, which side? Do I Dynamax or not? No, 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 no. I think I just glide. I think I just glide the Mantine Okay, Steela is the one maxing right now. Yeah, it's going to steal Spectogetic. Which I think is honestly fine. Okay. Set up another sword stance. But oh. honestly, if we kill the entire Mantine side, I think we can just kind of win off that. Yeah. Because once Togetic goes down, all four of our mons can max. Yeah. We didn't see leftovers on the Mantine, did we? I don't think so. No. Okay. Okay, glide chaos. Ooh, so close. Okay, so they are very bulky. Okay, they did not max this turn, which is good, actually. Yeah, uh, as long as we don't get burned. Okay, what are they? What kind of? Them? Okay, so Just they're def. Oh, okay. especially defensive. Okay, okay so it's probably to lift Heatran. Yeah, we're fine. We eat that. Good. Good. All right. Okay, so Togetic went down. I go Queen, don't I? I think so, yeah. Sebi can Dynamax now. That's the main Queen can time. Dynamax. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of a hard turn. I think I Thunder Punch. Like, who cares if the Toga uh, the toga tick comes in? Actually, I think you just kill Mantine with Poison Jab and I protect. Rillaboom. Uh, 
their physical Nita or their physical Celestila though. True. Do you want to Thunder Punch it? Because I think I need to protect Rilla here so it lives. Yeah. Yeah, protect. I'm going to Thunder Punch the Steela just to get some chip off. Okay. Okay, yeah. Steela protects. Okay. That would have been a good turn to kill Mantine, like I was suggesting, but that's okay. We'll see. Okay, so this was a do-nothing turn, pretty much. Except we get some passive heals that they don't get because their mods are flying. Mm -hmm. All right, both Tailwinds are gone, which is fine. Celesteela can max, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, it is kind of an issue. I do think we need to kill Mantine, though, so they can't get Tailwind up. Oh, 100%. Um, I, I Grassy Glided that slot. Yeah, I think I still just Thunder Punch the Steela. Man, if I set a sub, that'd be nuts. Do you want to set a sub now? I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. I'd set sub. I agree. I agree. I'm subbing. I like that. Yep. Okay, this has now. to go into the Rilla. Oh, absolutely. But we cannot let them get Tailwind up under any circumstance. So. No. I mean, if they have Protect on the Mantine, maybe they Protect a Mantine? No. Okay. Okay. We KO. Good. We needed that thing gone. Yes. Mantine was actually an issue for us. There's the sub. In an ideal world, this actually goes into the queen. I think it does. Oh, no. Okay. Do we live that? Oh, yeah, baby. Fine. Yeah, we have a plus two Grassy Glide coming out into whatever the fuck they switch in. This is nice. Okay. Are we just going to double down that slot? Yeah, we're just going to ignore Steela, I think. Yeah, because I, I glide the fuck out of Cinderace right here. What am I doing here? Because if they go for a, uh, an Iron Head. No, I think I still Thunder Punch the Steela. Because what if they go for a Bounce? Knowing that they're faster than the Needle Queen? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I Thunder Punch the Steela. You definitely glide the Cinderace, though. Yeah. And we live another Steel Spike. The fact that they didn't go for Airstream leads me to believe they don't actually have it. It's hard to run Airstream on a physical set, so... Yeah. We might be able to beat the Celesteela just by waiting until Heatran can come in to kill it, you know? Yeah, and max Heatran. Which kind of sucks for the Blast Toys, but I think it's going to be okay. Needle Queen getting to live this turn is also huge. Yeah. I hope they're not going for timer this early. Because they have been taking it so long. Glide, come on. Fucking good ass damage. Good ass damage. Oh, please kill the Rilla. Okay. Rilla did its job, though. Cinderace is basically dead. Ooh. Okay. Good damage. No weakness policy. Good. They're going for another Good. steel spike. It's probably Akka. Well, we'll Here's see if we thing. see left. You want to beat both mods on the field. Don't you just sub again? Yeah. See if we see leftovers. We do. Okay. <sighs> okay, my last mon is Heatran. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I protect. 
Don't I max? Yes. So you max and flare the hell out of that Celesteela. And do I... Do I flare it? Or do I max guard? Because uh, he, he hasn't revealed Quake if he has it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I like... Well, because problem is if they kill the Nido Queen, he gets another Spadef boost. And I'm poison jabbing the Pangoro. Okay, and we do live a Pangoro because of the Chopel. Yes. So flare Stila. I think so. But if I kill Pan, if we, if I target down Pangoro, then the only thing on that side is a Cinderace. That's Life Orb. That's pretty much one shot. True. So I flare Celesteela here. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, we're we're doing all right. Yeah. Because I still have Scarf a Blastoise Scarf Blastoise. is looking really good in the Sun game. Yeah. Oh, Toga Damaru is pretty much one shot right now, ain't it? Yeah, it's pretty low. Problem is, we're setting the sun. This should still do a metric shit ton. Yeah. They're so it, full spadaf. Yeah. Well, they have a plus one boost, but it dies next turn after it's done maxing. Oh, fuck. The crit. I mean, that's nice sucks, crit but... there. They didn't Ooh. have Quake. I should have yep. guarded. I called that correctly. We eat one, though. We don't eat the close combat. Should have guarded. We have Chopple. We... we have a shot. Fuck. Well, there is still a world where we win this. Yeah, it's not a great one, though. Um, Because that Celesteela is bulky as fuck. It's Undynamax, though. Yeah, I needed to guard that turn. Mm -hmm. We misplayed the fuck out of that. Okay. Do so I... it has Stomping Tantrum, but I don't think it KOs. Do I Thunder Punch the Steela and just leave the Pangoro alone? Or do I sub and try to waste the sun? No, I can't sub. No, you can't sub. I think I Thunder Punch. I think you Thunder Punch too. Because Cause... both Mons on that side die to Blastoise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Son of a And if you can get Celesteela bitch. into Water Spout Rage. Like that? Which I think that is. Please, Pangoro, kill. Fling. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, here we go. Problem is, we have sun up. I know. And they're yeah, like, we just we misplayed that. I you sh I should have guarded. I should have trusted my instincts there. Yeah. This water spout still potentially kills. I mean, I think this is the only play we have. Yeah, we have to click water spout. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, that was my fault. Ooh. Protect. So single target spout. Well, no, it's still double target, but this is actually fine. Because he doesn't know we actually outspeed the Cinderace. I mean, they're trying to get lefties, which is fine. I think the better play, if we weren't guarding, would have been to Steel Spike the Pangoro. No, oh, yeah, because Cinderace comes in this turn and... Also just dies. Unless it's Sucker Punch. But I don't think there's Sucker Punch. No. Well, and they're Life Orb, so it dies anyway. Right. They're definitely running timer. They have to. No, they don't have to. Because, see, the thing is, if we can kill this Celesteela, right. we win. Diggersby and Toga. Yeah, Diggersby and Toga tomorrow go down. Yeah. Problem is, I don't know if we killed the Celesteela. 
Can you run that calc since you're not actually doing anything? Yeah. I think they're at like plus two special defense, which is the bad part. Two minutes left, they're running timer. Yeah, that's fucking... I hate that about this league. I'm going to be honest. I think that's dumb. Yeah, because if this kills the Steela, we're at, we actually have a shot. Because we're only what? We only have two turns left, so there's not even a chance we win this, even if we kill both. It does enough, I think. Let me check. Do, do you have it in the sun? Because uh, that's our main issue. It depends on the set. Okay. But it can potentially do about 20%. I don't know if they're at 20. <laughs> yep, we lose. Fuck <sighs> off. Are you serious? I hate timer. This is kind of nonsense. I mean, it makes sense. It's their best play, but still. We should have max guarded Heatran, and then I think we win this game. This water spout probably doesn't KO. Not even close. Yeah. I mean, we still kill the Cinderace, though. Yeah, we still get a diff off that. God damn it. Oh, and then they just leech seed? Are you shitting me? I didn't expect you to turn Cinderace. I'm going to be honest. I also didn't expect the Mantine to actually live that. I'm gonna just sit here. Dude, damn it. Yeah, if we guard, we win. Yeah, that was that was like I'm not gonna pretend that wasn't a misplay. Uh, no, I was also yeah. Gosh, dang it. I was also expecting it to do more than it did. That was a big misplay. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I do think we win if we don't do that. Son of a bitch. Yeah, and they managed to win with a plus three because they kept the kill alive. Mm-hmm. See, this is another reason why I wish this league was best of three, honestly, because I kind of get annoyed by these best of one techs, you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, well I mean, because look at it. Like, Blastoise 100% kills the, the Diggers B. Yeah, it does Token Maru, it, it could fake out and then die the next turn. Like, it was not in good position. Um, And honestly, turn one, if we would have just water spouted and then shadow balled the Token Maru, <laughs> I honestly think we just went on the spot. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Uh, but we did misplay that, so we got out. Yeah. I mean, it was closer than what it probably should have been. If you look at our team and theirs. That's that's true. Um, but yeah, we misplayed that a little bit. Uh, overall, though, there, actually, a lot of the early game, I was pretty how decently close, happy How with. close was that to actually not getting the KO? Uh, the what? The close combat. Uh, let me check. Because actually, it wasn't terrible, I don't think. Here we go. Yeah, I got it on my screen. So, Heatran. Just run max attack, Pangoro, because we know they were Iron Ball. Yeah. Which is weird, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, just whatever. Choice ban, take off the choice ban, and go chip pot. Max, this is still Expert Belt. We were, what, Chopel? Chopel. Oh, wow. It was actually a roll. That was a roll. That was very much a roll. Damn. How much HP well, did we have? Like... I think it was like three? No, it was like 214, 215? Something like that. We'll have to check the replay on that, because that might not have been a roll, but we'll find out. No, it definitely was, because we weren't we weren't below a hundred. Or we weren't we weren't below two hundred, I don't believe. 
Dang. All right. Well, our season's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I, I do feel like outside of that, I should have maxed out my instincts there. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Huh. Um. But good game to our opponents. They did play in prep super well. I mean. Oh, for sure. They for definitely sure. did catch us off guard with some stuff. I do think if we them. if we max guard there, we just kind of win. That was potentially. A, I mean, yeah. who knows? Well, because based on the damage we were doing to the Celesteela when it was max, we probably just one shot it, and I was still behind a sub. Right. All right. Well, GG. Peace yeah. out, guys. See ya.